let's see, I just, I've been drawing since forever. And I went to school down in Savannah. I thought I would be, uh, I really wanted to get into Pixar for a little while. I had a lot of teachers that really, uh, they really just pushed me towards going straight into the painting department. So, I mean, it's kind of been, well, not painting, but drawing my whole life, knowing it would be in the arts. And then um, having those teachers uh, push me in that direction, I guess would be the thing that actually got me into the career aspect of straight up painting. I, I draw my inspiration from a lot of places. Um, right now, I'm developing a, a, a series that has to do with kind of personal, I'm sorry, not personal, uh, the interconnectivity between everyone, really. Um, you know, how we're all different, but it's really focusing on the similarities still. Um, although I do like to keep, uh, I, I work on a bunch of series at once, uh, a couple different things, I feel like that keeps my heart healthy. Uh, but you know, really, music, everyday things, uh, other people's art, I'm, I'm a thief. I think that's important, because when you take it, you know, you make it your own, so that's important. My art means, what my art means to me is, really it's a chance to first better myself. You know, I'm a firm believer, if, if you spend time working at anything, no matter what it is, you're gonna get better at it. And since it's something I care a lot about, just have a lot of joy doing, it, it seems perfect that, you know, that's what I'm gonna, I'm gonna spend my time getting better at. But then at the same time, it's, uh, you know, you get to know yourself better. Uh, it's a way to connect in a weird way because it's so it's so private. You know, I, I spend you know all night just at the studio where it's just me. You know, listening to music or whatever else. And it's in my own head, but then you know you realize it really does. Uh, it connects us all. So uh, that's what it means to me. A way to better myself, get to know other people by getting to know myself. Something like that. Tonight I'm presenting a couple different pieces. I got like 10 or 13 pieces. Um, and what I did was I selected, I spoke about before how I have a couple different series that I like to focus on, kind of, kind of uh, investigating a couple different concepts. And uh, it, it's kind of a grab bag of all of those, so it's fun. I saw the space ahead of time. I know, you know, I got I'm on a mirrored wall and some are over here and it's fun and the lights and, you know, given the environment, there's fashion, and kind of like body painting, or so, whatever. It's going to be crazy, so I figured it'd be perfect to, to show us. Uh, it's kind of a hodgepodge of everything I'm working on, but they're all they're all paintings. They're all on wood. It's my uh, it's my definitely my new passion. It's a great surface, and uh, yeah, check them out. My opinion of Philadelphia Raw so far is well, I've been down here for about an hour setting up. Uh, definitely a lot of commotion, a lot of excitement, um, a lot of good-looking people coming together. I, I, I dealt with Fred for a while. He was really helpful. It seems uh it seems um. Seems like a fresh approach to art, which is cool. You know, I'm a part of a gallery myself, and it's straightforward. This is this is something else. This is uh, it's, uh, already there's only a couple pieces on the wall, but as it's come together, it's inspiring. It's pretty cool. Hi, my name is Kyle Fisher, and I'm a Philadelphia raw artist.